Hi everyone, this podcast is about 1984 and about what I'm going to call the rule of three. Don't read anything into the name, it's just what I am calling it. Our first notion of three, are uh, there are three parts to the novel. The first part is our introduction to Winston Smith and his writing of his diary in Old Speak, which uh, is the first sign of his uh, individualism. Uh, and it also introduces us to the Ministry of Plenty, the Ministry of Peace, the Ministry of Love, the Ministry of Truth, and also to Newspeak and the Thought Police as well. So, and then we have the second part, which is about uh, Winston and Julia's uh, relationship and uh, their Winston's growing desire for individualism and rebellion. And then we have the third part, which is the interrogation and torture of Smith by O'Brien. In uh, We get to learn about Room 101, and it is when Smith gives up the last shreds of his self-respect in Room 101 and ends completely brainwashed. We then have, uh, also in three, the three nations, Oceania, Eurasia, and East Asia. Then there are the three characters, Winston Smith, Julia and O'Brien. Uh, of importance is their names. Winston Smith is firstly, Winston is named, uh, his first name comes from Winston Churchill, the first person to openly uh, ridicule and fight against totalitarianism. And then also the name Smith, which at the time was the most common British surname, uh, which gives us an indication that Winston Smith is supposed to be an everyman. Uh, there is also the idea that the name Smith comes from the Renaissance English Smith meaning craftsman which was related to writers uh, and it was believed that their ability to write and to create through writing was linked to the divinity of God. You then have Julia and Julia's name comes from the ancient Rome which was given to uh, any daughter of the Julian clan and therefore Julia is an any woman and it's important to, to note that she does not have a last name so therefore she is the any woman of post-war England. And finally you have O'Brien who um, has no first name so is therefore dehumanised uh, and is the ge generic quintessential corrupt bureaucrat. Our next little level of three is our three segments of modern society which are being represented by our three main characters and we have uh, our women, our rulers and our thinking individuals. And then finally we have our three groups of people um, presented in the novel, the ruling elite, the outer party and the proles. I will probably do another podcast about what all this means at a later date. This is just something to get you thinking about why everything is broken into threes. What are the patterns of threes? All right. I just thought it was very interesting. Enjoy.